everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swish and a reviewing the overall market here. We are up today. And if this wasn't going into a week where we have the Fed talk, which they are going to talk Tuesday and Wednesday, I would say market's going to rip higher. We are, we're having a follow through continuation now from yesterday's rally or yesterday meaning Friday. Um, if, if it was any other circumstance or any other time period, if the market hadn't been choppy, if we weren't going into again a time when the Fed would talk, I would say Let's go on the market, but I'm not behind this as far as conviction wise, but you can't deny we're rallying. We did not drop last week on Thursday when we had that gap down. It got bought on the 200 period moving average and we haven't looked back since Thursday morning. So again, we're up today. Let's just take a look at it here, approximately 301 and change. So we could rally up to here, literally in the next 24 hours. We wouldn't have another power trend day. Friday, we power trended. So we power trended up in a gap up. And I did mention this in the room on Friday that if we do get bought, I said if we do close up in the market on Friday, look for a lot of people to jump into this market, like a ton of people to just jump into this market long. Again, I'm going to sit back here and wait and be a little bit patient. But, you know, there are people that are along the market and believe that the market now has set the low for the year and that it's not going to go back down again. I'm not in that camp. But again, I'm still going to look for some selective things here maybe to go long because I don't think that we want to miss this rally and not get any opportunities to the upside. But at the same time, I think it's better off to be long strong stocks than the overall market going into Fed meetings. So let's look at the SPY quickly. Just take a peek. So the Qs are definitely stronger than the SPY. That's because of Apple. So again, market could run all the way up to 410 today if it really, 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 really wants to go. So Tuesday is tomorrow. The Fed meeting is not for 24 hours. So we could run up today. Again, I'm going to leave this market be. So it gets a pivotal week for the market because if the market rat wants to rally on the fed news tuesday and wednesday and start the week out bullish today and run up today we could have a five-day rally in the market i don't know if that's going to happen but i'm saying that is one setup that is one possibility or we crash on something the fed says tuesday or wednesday would most likely be tuesday afternoon into wednesday morning in a gap down but I don't think we fail here this morning. We probably are going to either wait for the minutes today or hold green. So good luck, people. Let's try to look for selective things to do this week and let this market be for now. Have a good week.